I, let, I, I want to tell you that God loves you so much. To have made you to see this day is a grace. Many of our mates went to bed the way we went to bed last night. They have passed away. But this morning, he put his breath of life in you. You became a living thing. For a purpose. For a purpose. He has not written you off. Now, the, what God wants to speak to us today is heavenly blessing that is recovered. All heavenly blessings are recovered by power. All heavenly blessings are recovered by power. In Matthew eleven twelve, he says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and only the violent take it by force. Amen? Amen. That is what Matthew eleven twelve says. Also, I want to read Obadiah. Obadiah 1, 17 to uh, 18, it says, but on Mount Zion, and, but on Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possession. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. But the house of Esau shall be stumble, shall become stubble. They shall kindle them and devour them, and no survivor shall remain of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. There are many, I will explain. The first one that we read, which is Matthew eleven twelve. 12, in this world that we are now, before you, go, you, before you attain what God promised you, you must, you must fight for it. You must, you must be willing and use it and prayerfully to receive it, because the enemy is now in the world waging war against the children of God. That anything, any blessing that is coming from heaven to his own to the children of God, there there used to be opposition spiritual opposition before you can be promoted in the place where you are working if you are a child of god you must put your leg on the ground and pray it out to possess your possession on earth god when god created man he gave he created us, he created all things for us, for man. The enemy came and stole it from us and made us to be naked. We were not naked when God created us. He created us and covered us with his glory. But the enemy stole and did that glory. Made it to be to be to, to, to be ev to evaporate it from us, to spirit it away from us, and we became naked. And anything you want to possess in this time, you must you must challenge it prayerfully and, 
and believe in the God that you are you 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 you, you are serving before you can receive them. Not just the Christianity of uh, lip service. That is why you see children, uh, some people who call themselves Christian, they will suffer. They suffer. Even some of them will say, oh, and, and they go secretly at the back to the people of the world to, to go and look for help. Because they could not receive help from heaven. Their heavens have been shut. My brothers and my sisters, you that you are listening to me, I want you to open your eyes, open your mind. This world, we have two, two spiritual people on earth. Those that are for satanic powers, demonic powers, principalities and powers of the the rulers of darkness, the queen of the court, the king of the river, witches and wizards. They are more. They are in multitudes. Only few people are the children of God who can be able to stand. Those who have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Even if you see people that you see people in, in the churches today in millions. Many of them are not children of God. Because they could not be able to give to, to give to, to they, they could not be able to stand in faith to challenge the principalities and powers of the air who are waging war against them. They, because they don't believe, they don't have that trust. They have doubt in their mind. They have doubt in their heart. They don't, they cannot, as, they don't, they cannot, uh, because of their weak faith, weak, they are weak in faith, they will not be able to stand. And that is why they, they go behind to look for help from the people of the world. And when you do that, God, you are not in line with God. The Lord will not be happy with you. You will see in that Obadiah 117, but on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. We are we, we pray, we have fasting and prayer for 21 days, which finish on the 21st of uh, October. We have planted what let us look at who is a farmer when farmer go to farm he will plant he will plant good good uh, seeds in the farm but not immediately he even planted that he will begin to reap there is a time to wait there is a time between planting and harvesting. That time is the time of waiting. Is the time that you watch what you have planted. Is the time you wait that you water what you have planted. Is the time of watering. Is the time of watch watching. Is the time of uh, dressing. It is those that do that. Those that can put in the needful, do the needful of as a farmer that we reap in hundreds, in, in sixties, and in thirties. It is you that can be able to harvest 
in abundance. But when you cannot put in, do the needful, not all those that go to uh, the half farm, that they reap in abundance. No. Because many of, many of the people are lazy. They won't be able to go to their farm to, to do weeding, to water the, uh, what they have planted, to wait. Even some will go, I know one time, my father told me of a, 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 a one uh, a, a careless a, a farmer, he will plant yam. And whenever he's hungry, he will go to the farm and uproot the farm, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the yam that he has uh, planted that has not, he has not uh, uh, grow yet. He will take some and go and roast it. By the within a month, he has roasted all the yam he planted. Without at the time when his mates, other farmers will be reaping their own yam in tubers, full baskets. He has nothing to reap because he has eaten them all. Therefore, my brothers, there is a time of waiting. After prayer, there are things you have to do to water it, to watch, to pray, and then harvest will come. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sister, because in Luke 8, let us look at 8, Luke 8. 22 to 23. Luke 8, 22 to 23. He said, Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciple. Who is that he? Is Jesus. Jesus got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake and they launched out but as they sailed as they sailed he fell asleep that is jesus slept in the boat and a windstorm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy problem came. And Jesus is the one let us, who said let us go. It's not a wrong time. It's not a wrong time. He, he is the, Jesus who knows the beginning is, he knows the end. And yet, he was inside that boat with his disciples and yet storm came in blew against that boat that the boat was filled with water and they were in jeopardy now you will see it is then the disciple woke up, went and woke up Jesus Christ. Jesus, are you not, <laughs> you want us to perish here? Don't you see what is going on? It was then Jesus rebuked the storm. He rebuked the storm and the, it became still. Everything became still. Now, don't say because you are a believer, the enemy will not raise his ugly head against you. Enemy will raise his ugly head against anyone. He want to test you whether you even believe your Christ. The enemy 
uh, tested Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus told him, you cannot. I can't bow down for you. It's only God who you bow down for. But many people will bow down for the people, for, for the people of the world. Because they want a position. They want they, 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 they want a, 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 a they want to be promoted. They will do what the Bible said they should not do. The enemy wants you to do what the Bible says you should not do. And immediately you do it, you will say, yes, then I will give you what you want. Is to remove that your testimony. Is to remove that thing you have got in the time past. Is to remove the salvation which you have got already. And that is why you, as a child of God, you must be upstanding. You must be standing. You must know the word of God. Anything that the Bible says do not do, you must be sure that you don't do it. Now, last night, I will say this morning, just this morning, maybe around, uh, around 3 o'clock a.m., I had a dream. And that dream is just to say that <laughs> very soon the Lord will come. The boat, the, 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 there's a place where people who are, the, the, the saints are being gathered. And the, the, the Lord delayed it. Delayed, they are taking off. And I was in the, that, I was in it also, sitting down there. And I saw that every, every, everyone there were well dressed. Well dressed. And the, I can see the behavior of everybody there is excellent. And the, and the spirit told me that it has been delayed for a while. That very soon it will, but nobody knows that time. And I'm telling everyone now this morning that the day that <laughs> the Lord will, the trumpet shall sound. Nobody knows that date. Even the angels of heaven do not know the date. They will just wake up one day, they will just, just be one day, the Lord will say, yeah, oh, you, prof, uh, you angels, take your trumpet. Blow it. And nobody will know. And immediately it is blown. The curtain will be, will be drawn. And it will be the end. So you that have accepted Jesus Christ as, as Savior, I want you to be watchful. Because the day of harvest is coming. That is spiritual harvest. When God will come and harvest his own. The day of Lord's harvest is very near. That he will come and take his own. No matter what you are passing through now. There is nothing you are going through that. Uh, that those who have gone before you. Have not gone through. What are you passing through that. Apostle P Peter has not passed through. That Apostle Paul has not passed through. That those disciples have not passed through. There's nothing. Even we have not, we, we cannot experience one, one tenth of what they pass through in life. 
and they, they stood to the end. So I am telling you, you that you are hearing me, you that you are hearing me, to uphold yourself, to watch out everything that you are doing, even some people are men of God. Immediately the anointing fall upon them. Holy Spirit is for service. When the Holy Spirit come upon man, the Holy Spirit come upon you for service. So that you can be a tool in the hand of God. The miracle that is being wrought in your ministration in the in the church it's not you who did it it's, you don't know how it was being done you don't know how it came people just testify that this thing happened to them this thing happened to them you don't know when it happened you are not a partaker to it the lord just used you as a tool to propagate the gospel. To prove that he is still working. He's still working in, in, the, in, the, in, in man till today. And if you not use that as a yastic to become proud. That pride take over your life. You make people to be kneeling for you before they, when they want to speak to you. Even those that are the, 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 your grandmother, your grandfather, in age, when they want to speak to you, you say, you say you, they should kneel down. They should bow down. Who are you? Who are you? It is God to be worshipped. We are not supposed to worship any man. When God created man, he created all men equal. And, and the deposit of God inside you is not your handmade work. It's not by your power. He only chose you. He said, he, 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 by himself, he called you. He is the one who called you. He is the one who chose you. He is the one who separated you. It is not by you. And therefore you have nothing to boast of. All are gifts. And gifts cannot be boasted of. Because you don't work for it. It's a grace. And that is where you will see the Ministers of today, the ministers of today, all that they are thinking of is to write, is to, is to fly jets, is to ride the best car, is to begin to, to even when they are now driving car, they want to drive bulletproof car. When they will be in bulletproof car, they have bodyguards who are guarding them. They will tell those ones to be in their, in their own car, which is not bulletproof. There will be some in front. There will be some at the back. Is that how Jesus worked? <laughs> when Jesus was on earth, who could differentiate him from among his disciples? Even he was walking in the temple for three good years or three and a half years. Yet, people cannot say that is him. That by the time they wanted to go and uh, to, 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 to accuse him, to, 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 to arrest him, in that night in the garden, they needed somebody who is a one of the disciples who can 
Lead them there so that they will not take the wrong person. So that they will take the right person because they are all alike. They are the same. You cannot differentiate anyone from them. You don't know the head, you don't know the tail. They are all, they look equal. Why are you differentiating yourself? In the church, the seat you will sit will be a different one than others. That is why somebody went to, to, to and took the seat of one, 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 one man of God. Stole it, took it home, took the uh, seat, the chair home. Because he thought the power inside that man is inside the car, he is inside the chair too. You can see, they are idolized themselves. If that man of God had been sitting on any chair, any chair he finds. They are all the same and sit down there. They will not steal any chair. My brothers and my sisters, if you are a man of God, check yourself. God hates pride. Let me see um, uh, Proverb 8. I want to read Proverb 8. 13 and 14. Proverbs 8, 13 and 14. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. You that you are hearing me today, it is true you have fasted. You have prayed. You have planted. Yet. That was what the uh, apostle said. He said, Four plants, Apollo water it. It is God that makes it to grow. No matter what you do, no matter the prayer you have made, it is, not, it is God that will answer prayer. The fear of the Lord is to, is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. Are you hearing that? God hates pride. God hates arrogance. God hates all evil ways. And perverse mouth, forward mouth. You talk anything carelessly. You, you talk carelessly. Boasting. As if you are God. Ah. And verse 40 says, Cancel is mine. And sound wisdom. I am, I am understanding. I have strength. It is, is a cancel is what? It is God that gives wisdom. It is God that, that sound wisdom. It is God that gives it. Understanding of either vision, uh, vision, or something like that. It is God that gives it. Even cancel it to cancel people to lead people to the right path, talking to people, it is God that gives it. It's mine. That is what God said. All power belongs to him. And I want you to read that, that uh, uh, proverb uh, 8, whether I should read uh, 18, 18 and 19. 18 and 19. Proverb 8, 18 and 19. Proverb 8. <laughs> he said, Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. It is God that gives riches, it is God that gives honor. It is God that gives enduring riches and righteousness. He said, my fruit is better than gold. What is that fruit? It is the fruit of the spirit. 
Holy Spirit is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, it's better than riches. But people now, instead of them to seek for the power of Holy Spirit, what the pastor prays, pray, uh, praying for now is riches and honor. They want to become like uh, politicians who are thieves and robbers. You can see what is going on in Nigeria now. They stock money in the house. Stock money in the house. Government money in their own private homes. Ah! God will judge. When you know where you sleep, you don't know whether you will wake up. Why are we so covetous? Why are you so covetous? You, the people of the world. Why are you seeking that thing you cannot take home? You can, you, we are, we, we, the, the world is a farm. The world is a, is a farmland. Where you go and farm. If a farmer leaves home, he will go to farm. And after in the evening, what will happen? He will go back home. We are going back home in the evening. And you will leave the farm there. You are not going with anything. You say, my fruit is better than gold. Yes, than the gold. And my revenue than choice silver. My brothers and my sisters. Whether you are a pastor, you are just a member like me, member of a, a church, don't worry. Just hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus and his word. He said, if you love me, you will obey my commandment. All the word that he has spoken to you, you have to obey it. You have not to be covetous. Anyone that has Christ, he has got all things. He said, riches and honor are with me. If Christ is with you, if Holy Spirit dwells in you, you have riches. You have something more than riches, more than honor. And you will never lack. Satan will fight against anyone who is expecting heavenly blessings in order to steal their blessings. You can only receive by the power, by the mighty hand of God. Satan will fight you. He will fight you. Let us see Matthew 13. That is where you will see that no matter whether you, you, you are a believer, anyone, even it is the believer that Satan is waging war against. Those that are his children, those that are falling, he doesn't... No matter what they ask him, he, he can give them. Twenty-four to twenty-six. Yes, I say Matthew 13, 24 to 26. I read it from here. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seeds in his field. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain has sprouted and produced a crop, then the tears also appeared. Are you hearing that? The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. You are hearing me today. You are a believer. No matter whom you are in the, in, in, in the body of Christ. 
Whether you are an apostle, you are a prophet, you are this, call yourself any name. You are the same. Everybody in as much, anyone who is a child of God, had the deposit of the Holy Spirit in him. He has the comforter with him. He has the comforter with him. And that comforter, if the comf I have a comforter in me, you have a comforter in you, which is the Holy Spirit, we are all the same. We are all the same. And that spirit that is given to you is for service. To do certain things. We have different service, service to, to God, to, to render to God. And if you call yourself a believer and you saw something, you pray and you go and sleep, you can see the enemy came and so you saw good seed. Yes, the, when you slept, the enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. And that is why you must be watching. You must keep on watching. Anywhere you find yourself, anywhere you find yourself in the body of Christ, you were planted there. God, man, even when you, you see, when God is speaking about planting in the Bible, even when he's talking about man, because the day God created Adam, it is God who planted Adam in the Garden of Eden. As in Genesis 3, 23 to 24, he said, therefore the Lord God sent him out of the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed cherubim at the east of the Garden of Eden and flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. When God created man, Adam and Eve, he put them in the garden of Eden. He planted them there. But when corruption came into them, when they were corrupted, he uprooted them. No matter the position you are, when corruption comes to you, you call yourself an apostle, you call yourself a, a, a bishop. You call yourself a pastor. You call yourself a deacon. You call yourself an evangelist. No matter the name you call yourself, when corruption comes into you, you are uprooted and throw you out. God is still doing it because as Adam was planted in the garden, so you two were planted where you found yourself. And if corruption is found in you, I'm sorry, you will be thrown out. You will be thrown out from where you are. Amen? Daniel's blessing received by power. It is by power. Let us read that Daniel 10. Daniel 10, 12 to 14. I want to read Daniel 10, 12 to 14. Because Daniel prayed but for 21 days. And immediately he prayed. Are you not there? Dan Daniel 10, 12. To 14. Then this, he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. You hear? From the first day, let me tell you all the those who, all the believers who call the name of the Lord, immediately you say, in the name of Jesus, they say all things 
in heaven. All things on earth will begin to bow. The gate of heaven is, was opened. In the name of Jesus, the gate of heaven will open. Immediately you start praying. God has heard you. And he has answered you. I want you to know that. And to humble yourself before God, your God, you are heard. And I have come because of your words. But the prince of, king, of the kingdom of Persia, we stood to me 21 days. For 21 days, the, 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 the prince of the kingdom of Persia we stood that angel. We stood that angel that was bringing it to, to Daniel. And one of the, uh, and behold, Michael, one of the chief priests came to help me. For I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the latter days for the vision refers to many days yet to come my brothers and my sisters from the first day you pray to god you mention the name of jesus christ your heaven has opened he has heard you but i want to do, you to know that the king of persia they are there to withhold that your blessing. And that is why when Jesus was going, he said we should be praying always. Don't say without ceasing, without stopping. When you are sleeping, be, sleep, be, be praying. In all, be, be prayerful. Be, be in the mood of prayer. Be in the, in the mood of the spirit. All the time. So that. That thing you have asked. Will come forth. Because there are opposition. God made me to see them one day. When he took me to the second heaven. The angel of God. Took me to the second heaven. And he made me to see. And we, as we got to the second heaven. He entered into one cave. And blind. I was hearing the, the horses. They are brown horses. Brown horses. They were passing through where we, myself and the angel, were, were hiding. He said, look at them. I said, who are these? He said, these are the prince of Persia. They are the one plying this sphere. They are all the time. Bro, bro, bro. And that is, whenever they see an angel descending from the third heaven, and before they can come to the, to the earth, they must pass the second heaven. They must pass the second heaven. The, the angel must pass through the second heaven. And that is why they are, they are applying that place to, to arrest. Whenever they see the angel passing there, they know he's going down to bless the people. But it is when that angel was arrested by the prince of Persia, then God reinforced, sent angel Michael. That angel Michael now came to rescue that angel. Oh yeah, you can go. You can see that Angel Michael did not take that good that that message from him, because God have message for every individual. He only came to take over, to take over, so that he can that angel that was sent can go and carry out his mission. The mission you were given. You want God to send another person. You might that, my brother. There is a reason you are sent to this world. There is a reason why you are where you are. God planted you there as a tree. 
have you performed, accompany, accomplished God's purpose for your life? They are. You want God to send another person? You can, if you have been obstructed by demon, by this prince of Persia, God can only send another angel to, to arrest that prince of Persia or that agent, a, 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 the, 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 the agent of darkness that are obstructing you. But it is still you. He will not take it away from you. Because it, you were ordained to carry out that message. My brothers and my sisters, note that if what God asks you to do, you have not done it, you need to go and perform them. Israel was delivered out of Egypt by power. You all know that. It is by power God, God delivered the, uh, the people of Egypt, uh, Israel, out of Egypt. Even when God wants to do a thing, he has to use more force because demon will kick against it. Also, David cried to God for recovery. That was in the first Samuel 34 to 8. We are not reading it. You all know. When his household was uh, uh, the, 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 the enemy came into his house and took his wife and the children. The wives and his children took them away and all everything, all his possessions, and then set his house, his, his tent on fire. When they came, David cried with all everybody. And then David took, uh, uh, David had to seek the face of God. He cried to God and God told him, pursue. You will pursue. You will, you, you, you will overtake. And you will recover all. I say, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will empower you. All that have been taken away from you, the Lord will give you the power, will strengthen you. It is still you who is going to do it. You will receive strength from above. That you will pursue the enemy, you will, you will you overtake them, and you recover all. So it shall be. My brothers and my sisters, let us know our what God is doing for us. That you need you need to arise. You need to arise. Don't let pride bring you down. Don't let a uh, 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 forward mouth bring you down. Don't let evil ways that you are doing, you think it does not matter. We are living in the time of grace. I'm telling you it's not. It is true we are living in the time of grace, but he has sent his word. It is a grace that you are being saved. That is the time of grace we are. You are one of those that are inside that boat. You don't have to pollute yourself. As I said, I saw everybody inside that place, they were neatly dressed. The white is sparkling clean. Even including children. I saw children, I saw one, the way one child dressed. Ah, I love it. I a boy. So, you are going to pray. Let us, you will tell the Lord. I know, you will tell the Lord, I know you have done it for me. But there are things I have to do to be able to attain it. If a farmer has planted, there are things he has to do to have a good harvest. Father, those things that I have to do that I may have good harvest, that your purpose, your agenda for my life will come to pass. 
Father, come and do it in my life now. Do it in my life. I begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, our Heavenly Father has spoken your word. All those, they have heard your word. All they need to do that they can be able to advance in, in abundance. Father, reveal it to them so that they will know what to do. That they will be able to harvest, uh, to have a, an abundance harvest in their in in, in, in their in, in their life. Father, reveal it to them in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let us now pray against that enemy. That enemy that is saying, <laughs> uh, "You will never get it," like that king uh, prince of Persia. Tell, tell the Father, hey, let the heavens, you that you are seated on the wife throne, my Lord, my God, reinforce your angels against that enemy that is delaying my blessing. All those agents of darkness delay my blessing. Let the, the heavens reinforce more angels that I receive them now that my bless, heavenly blessing will not be delayed. Oh yeah, let's begin to pray. Father, oh Lord, Father, let the heaven dispatch more angels to, for, for, to, so that I, against all those enemies, all those agents of darkness that are waging war against my blessing, that they will be put to shame, that my, all my blessings, all the blessings of my wife, my children, my household, all the uh, blessings of your, the church will come forth now in Jesus' name. So it shall be. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, I spoke to what you have shown to me. All these people that have heard you, those that are still outside, that are not inside the boat, inside the bus, inside that, that, that thing you have prepared that will take people unto you. Father, let them hear this word that they will recognize you and accept you as their son, as their Lord and Savior. That they too will be a partaker to come inside that your boat, your salvation boat. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. And all those that are inside the salvation boat, Father, let none of them backslide. Amen. That they will not be tired of waiting. Amen. Because you have delayed the, the, the taking off. So that they will, not, they will not think of the things of the world. Because you made me to know one time there are some who came down from the boat, from the train. And went out, and it was immediately they went out. The train had to move. Oh God, do not let those that have been in the train, those that have been in the bus, those that have been in the boat of salvation, do not allow them to be weary so that they, you, you, they, you uh, 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 strengthen their faith, strengthen our faith that we will be able to. Hold on to you. Wait until when you, the Lord, will call us home. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you let this word that has come out, that you will multiply it in the heart of the, the hearers. Amen. That once they hear it, let it begin to resound in their heart. Amen. That you, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, begin to explain it to them. 
that they will have more interpretation. That they will have a clear, a clear meaning of what you, the Lord, has spoken. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray.